This is Joseph Coco. I'm at Memphis, Tennessee's uh, comic and fantasy convention. I'm here on behalf of Natto Soups. Keep on trucking. Uh, the art process blog. If you could introduce yourself, please, Joni. Hi, I'm Joni Miller. Hi. Okay, and what's bringing you to, to this convention this year? Well, I go to school at the Memphis College of Art, and it's my senior year, and so I'm branching out into things in my field, and conventions and part of that in the comics industry. So, this is not really the first one I've done, this is the first consecutive day one that I've done, Okay. and so it's an interesting learning place. Um, so, um, did you, I take it you're, you you live locally, so you didn't have to get a hotel, so you probably don't have too many, uh, too much in the way of expenses, but is this what you expected uh, uh, tabling at a larger, larger convention to be like? Uh, well, I didn't expect it to be super amazing. Yeah. Um, but, I don't know, I felt like it could be better, but meh. <laughs> it just kind of depends on the crowd. I think it's a strange crowd. And um, is Evans debuting at this convention? Yes, it sure is. Can you tell me a little bit about it? It is stories that my family have told me and that I've lived through. That's, that's one that existed in my life. <laughs> oh, man. Um, it was a series of things that we've done in illustration class, and I just compiled it into a book. Okay. Um, and you had always intended to go full color with it? Or? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so there's some that are black and white for effect, and some that I did just to, like, print cheaply, but then I was like, nah, let's just do it in color, it'll be fun, because color's great, and I'll get to work with um, color schemes, and it'll help me learn more about that. Definitely. So, uh, that's something that uh, your professors at the Memphis um, College of Art and Design, is that it, uh, helped you out with? not design, it's just Memphis okay. College of Art. Okay. Um, they have a design. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah. So that's something that they, they helped you uh, work through, or you figured out uh, most of the, the process on your own? Well, the, in foundations, they make you take color foundations, so they like tell you colors and like stuff, but they don't really go over that. And when you get to digital, there's not like color schemes, <laughs> lessons. It's, yeah. it's kind of like work on your own with a loose guideline at, at that school. Yeah. And that's good in some aspects, but also like, eh. In others, like the totally lost people like I am in some time, sometimes. So did you have the book professionally printed or you did it yourself? I printed it through Lulu.com, which is super expensive. I would not recommend it, but it did get to me in a very timely manner. So in that aspect is amazing because here can play them is really great, but it takes like a million years to get your work from them. And yeah. I got told about the con two weeks beforehand. Oh, wow. So my, my table buddy forgot to tell me <laughs> often. I was planning on attending our school holiday bazaar, which is the same weekend, this weekend. Okay. But I was going to man the table. But Yeah, this seemed more lucrative. More lucrative. And the club that I was organizing it through like, was like the people just weren't organizing themselves correctly. And I okay. can't do everything for them. I understand. Uh, so, having done some of the uh, more uh, indie sort of prints, um, would you do you find you prefer uh, just printing, doing the entire process yourself, or, would, or are you do you think you're going to lean towards uh, one of the production companies like Lulu or Create Space in the future? For my color books, I think I'll use a, a company because I suck at trimming everything in the world. My yeah. my quality is pretty rough, but. For little black and white zines, they're cheaply made, and I like—I kind of like how they look. 
even yeah. though they're really rough, I like it. I There's think it's right. A lot of people, certainly at um, independent comic conventions that are drawn to that style, they really want to see something that you just like um, produce quickly and you got you had an idea and you got into a physical form as fast as possible, basically. So I, I can see the draw for both of those. Um, so what made you decide to do uh, watercolors and watercolor commissions at uh, convention? That's just something that you do uh, and, and sell um, on the side on your own? I can do them quickly. It's kind of like busy work for me because I'll just get bored doing ink drawings and just color them with watercolors. Yeah. Like I can sell them. I'll draw whatever they want. That and like these little artist trading cards were on sale at Michael's one day like a couple years ago. So I bought like five packs. It was 75 cents. Yeah. So really the medium is kind of more of a coincidence than it is. Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to get rid of that. Okay. Ordering my frisbee that I keep that stuff in. So do you have a line of conventions that you're looking at going to in the near future that we should know about? Um, or you haven't quite looked at a schedule yet? I haven't looked at a schedule because I'm still in school and I'm yeah. waiting until I just get out and then move on to it. Yeah. I think of it in steps. I do have Heroes Con in North Carolina, Charlottesville, North Carolina. Yes. And we have a table there, Jordan and I. I'm at current table buddy. Yeah, he's over there. Um, so we're going to be doing that. And that's going to be a new experience as well because I think it's going to be a better turnout. Yeah, Heroes Con is, is pretty big, and you're certainly going to get a lot of, um, I think you're probably going to get more artists in that area, just because yeah. there's uh, more art institutes, I think, in Atlanta, or I'm sorry, you said it was in, um, Charlottesville, North Carolina, yeah, a lot of North people Carolina. in Atlanta and other art schools go there, and cons that have artists as attendees seem to be better, because better, they know the industry, because they're in it themselves, yeah. and everybody's just helping each other, and it's just beautiful. The Memphis Comics Expo was a one-day con back in September, and that was the first one that I did. Okay. That had a lot of artists in it because Memphis has a pretty big indie artist community. Awesome. And it it did very well. But the club table did very well. Um, it made over a hundred dollars in one day, and that was awesome. If you like it. again in June for two days and it's okay. got a similar lineup of like name artists that are going to be there and I feel like it's going to do very well again. I'm not sure if it's going to be in the same place but it might which is cool because it's like a tiny little pyramid. <laughs> so can you tell me a little bit about the uh, Memphis art community? There's there's multiple art colleges in the area so uh, do you guys kind of... Yeah there's kind of multiple. There's the Memphis College of Art and there's the University of Memphis that has an art department. Yeah. Yeah, of course. And I think some other colleges have art departments, but they're a little less, like, known, or we don't know anyone either. <laughs> okay. Um, the art community here is great. There's the River Arts Fest that happens. There's Cooper Young Festival, which is, like, a big con outside, and people just set out, like, tent booths. Like, you know those, like, plastic tents that get the bees in, in the top? Like, yeah. They're terrifying. They're just, like, those line the streets, and it's super awesome. It's great gentrified, gentrified area. So there's there's a lot of just walk-in customers at, oh, yeah. at that venue? Okay. It, 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 people who table their tent there do very well. Yeah. Um, there's... What about, what about just um, like groups just for artists, not necessarily shows? Do you have uh, a lot of like community um, just, uh, I guess, helping people find uh, ways to improve as an artist or uh, even just try to build followings together and that sort of thing? There's a lot of illustrators that are in, and um, ceramics artists that are in Five and One Social Club, which is a big thing here, or downtown, midtown. Um, like they have a little store and they sell their work there, and that's really cool. Our okay. school has a store at the Grad Center location, which is in midtown. Like, yes. 
on Crunch Street or something. And they purchase work from you or they uh, just sell it on consignment? They sell our work in the store and the school gets a percentage, I think. And yeah. I think that goes to like scholarships. Like the Holiday Bazaar just happened and they take 30% now. Um, it used to be like 20%, but now they take 30% from the artist. Yep. So they get the 70% and then the school gets 30% and that goes into the scholarship fund for okay. all the students. That's really great. Um, and do you have uh, another work uh, coming out? I saw on the, the back of your two comics. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about it? I'm, I, I Yeah, I wasn't positive how to pronounce it. <laughs> it is apopytheosis. Okay. And it is... It, <laughs> I'm super bad at small pitches. I just want to say it's about a kid that's a douchebag. <laughs> It's fine. Whatever you think represents it. It doesn't need to be, you know, the most polished pitch. <laughs> it's about lying and finding yourself through that. Um, okay. Yeah. So, like, a coming-of-age sort of story about... Okay. It's, it's pretty... It's is it introspective where this uh, younger person is is discovering like what matters to them based on who they lie to and what they lie about? Is that the idea? I feel like it's gonna get introspective. It's still okay. kind of like it'll work, but it's it's getting it's it's solid enough that I'm starting it. So. Okay. <laughs> Sounds great, and we can expect that um, sometime next year. Sometime next year, winter, spring. Okay. And where can we find your work online? At jocosjoni.tumblr.com or poppytheosis.tumblr.com I'll get a website eventually and it'll be jocosjoni.com when, when I get that. But I take web design next semester. <laughs> awesome. And finally, would you have any advice to someone who's considering uh, attending at the Memphis Comic and Fantasy Convention for the first time? Like an, an artist who's considering tabling here? Make lots of prints and anime. Make or lots possibly of superheroes. I might be, be doing well too, but I'm not sure. But instead of superheroes. <laughs> okay, Joni, I hope you have a good convention. Thank you. Thanks.